A Montgomery College sociology professor's love of the bicycle spawned a class project that ultimately took an unexpected and historic turn. MC sociology professor Dr. Lesik Sabilski is a lifelong bike rider and a former member of the Polish national bicycling team. And a blog post he wrote on the benefits of cycling morphed into a class project to convince the United Nations to create a World Bicycle Day. It was totally accidental. I wrote an article for the World Bank uh, which was titled uh, Is Cycling uh, Business for Everyone? And uh, it was received very nicely. So it, it sent me a very clear message that, that, that there is a clientele, there is a market for such a topic. And I came up with this idea after looking at the UN calendar that there, that there is a, no uh, World Bicycle Day at all in their calendar. So I decided to, to push war forward. And he decided to push forward by way of a project for his sociology class. We started with, a, with, with this idea as a class project. Then we moved to a, a, a movement. And we use social media, mostly Twitter and Facebook. We engage many people uh, from the industry, from the sport. Everyone was supporting this idea. The chair of Dr. Sabilski's department thought the project was a perfect fit for the curriculum. There is a renewed institutional focus and energy around social justice and innovation. And so sociology, that seems to be a natural fit for our discipline because the field in and of itself discusses, explains, and looks at solutions to our world's problems. So an assignment or a campaign like World Bicycle Day is a perfect example of taking something from the classroom environment and taking it out into the community to promote some sort of social action. And Dr. Sabilski's students eagerly dove into the project. Uh, actually, I was so happy because it was a, a good opportunity for me as a Persian from Iran because after Islamic revolution in Iran, women, uh, women actually uh, don't um, ride to ride bicycle. So yeah, it's forbidden in our, in our country. I was very excited because this is, um, you know, it's a chance to actually get out there and ride bicycles. At first I thought it was a bit weird because no one ever emphasizes about bicycles, but knowing his history and his background, he was um, in the Olympics for cycling. So I thought, okay, it made sense. But once he taught us about it, once we did more research into why bicycles are helpful, why we need them, it, may, um, it was interesting to learn about bicycles. And now whenever I see a bicycle, I feel a connection between me and the bicycle. And they completed assignments focused on the ultimate goal. We first um, did a essay on why bicycles are important in the contemporary global society. One of the assignments was spreading about how bicycles are beneficial to our environment, how they're helpful for our health, and one of the things we had to do was go around with pe to people and take pictures of people who, who were actually riding bicycles and then spread it on social media like Twitter or Facebook. Another step in the project was the development of a logo appropriately designed by an MC studio art major. And the goal of the logo itself was to promote uh, the human spirit and to promote un uh, universalism and our belief in the capacity of the bicycle to extend humanity outward and upward. The project really took off when Dr. Sabilski won the support of the UN ambassador from Turkmenistan. Our first inter interaction was fantastic. Ambassador Ataeva received uh, this idea um, perfectly and she said we, we are in it and we want to help. So all of a sudden the class project's goal became realistic and eventually the World Bicycle Day resolution made it to the floor of the UN for a vote. 193 countries accepted it by consensus. 56 of them became a co-sponsors of this uh, resolution. And from now on, this is a part of the cycling history. We will have um, World Bicycle Day every June 3rd. So they did it, and the students made the trip to the UN for the official announcement ceremony. To be honest, I was a little bit like, wanna cry. 
because it's like it's such an honor to be part of it and I'm I'm really thankful like I've been like step on the United Nations headquarters it's like once in a life type of opportunity and I'm like so lucky to be part of it and to like witness the declaration of it it's so nice it was very good because it was my first experience in the United States to travel with my classmate to another city, another state, with uh, my favorite professor. Everything was set very well. It was good to meet all the sponsors and the people who were helping out. It wasn't just our class. And it was nice to see their view on bicycles and how they interact with professor too. Yeah, it was exciting. Once they had reached their goal, the students reflected on the learning experience. Environment around us, we can use fresh air. We can, we can even see our uh, place around us better. Even like simple things like bicycles, which we see every day, simple things like those we take for granted, but it's act they are actually very important. And even in like my country, there's so many people who can't go to school, who can't go to work, who can't get an education because they're their school or work is two hours away by foot and so using a bicycle it um, in fact brings up education it helps provide for a family so it helps it helped me um, appreciate bicycles more how I don't know how to say it but because of bike I think I spend time with my family because um, when we move here everyone is busy with work my mom, my dad, and we don't have that time to like bond. And because of bike, it's just a simple two wheels and it connects us again as a family. And that's what I learned, like simple transportation can like connect a family. And that's why I probably connect other countries to celebrate the World Bicycle Day. And the students came away from this project knowing they had done something of historical significance. I feel um, very blessed to have this chance. I'm so grateful for being a part of it and for being a part of it at this time when the resolution was passed. So I feel blessed, yeah. It's gonna be history. I'm, I'm gonna tell my grandchildren in the future that I've been part of that uh, declaration, that holiday. But if you want to make a difference, if you believe in your, in your, in your ideas, if you're passionate enough, you can and take students for an unbelievable journey, which they are not going to forget forever. And uh, I, I know for sure that they all uh, learn something very important, that if you aim for something and if you really push and work hard, you can achieve it. For MC Today, I'm Michael Brown.